timer is set and I'll see you I'll see you at the halfway point let's get to it the no fake channel checking in and today I am doing a 22 day review of these crest 3d non-slip white strips 100% satisfaction guaranteed Teed, and I'm going to see if these make my teeth whiter and if they are as close to professional grade as they claim. So first and foremost, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome aboard. Hit this like button and the subscribe button. This channel is dedicated to my hectic life as a dad of two, just trying to be a great parent to my kids and still accomplish my own personal goals. And let's face it, uh, this year I rounded the bend on 40 and the money maker, it's not getting any prettier, but we are trying to hold it together with duct tape and super glue. And I'd like to have my teeth as white as possible. There are a number of options when it comes to teeth whitening. The easiest and probably the most expensive is to have it done at a professional dentist office. What they will do, that's typically a 90 minute procedure. They are able to use a higher percentage of ingredient in terms of the concentration. That's why you see such a stark contrast from when you go in to when you come out. Your teeth are extremely sensitive following that procedure. And usually they will give you um, specifically molded mouth guards for future retreatments because with anything that has to do with your teeth, they only get darker over time depending on how you eat and what you do with your lifestyle. So even if you do have the professional treatments, eventually they're going to, again, darken. Now this does say it is safe for your enamel and it does say it lasts up to 12 months and beyond. I will say I'm not necessarily sold on the moniker that it's going to last 12 months in large part because if you go onto Amazon where I bought this, you will see that it, some, of the, some of the literature says it's gonna last eight months and beyond. So I think how long it lasts in terms of how, um, your teeth, how long your teeth stay white is a large proponent of what you drink, what you eat, and if you smoke or not. And let's just open the box and see what's in it. So it comes with, tw it comes with 40, which is 20 days worth of 30 minute white strips. Again, you put those strips on your, your teeth, you hold them there for 30 minutes, they're supposed to be non-slip, and then when you finish, you brush your teeth and you're good to go. And then it includes two sessions of one hour strips I guess those are higher concentration. Those are supposed to have a bigger bang. And supposedly that's a bonus that comes with this box. As far as what I paid, I paid, I'll, I'll put it up here. I think it was around $40. Depending on where and when you buy it, it ranges from like $38 to $45. So not very much in the box, except for all of these white strips. Here we go. That's the one hour packet. And that is the 30 minute packet. Another option you can go with with regards to white with regards to whitening your teeth at home, they do have like boil and bite where you make your own mouth guard. They give you the product and then you are able to insert that product in that mouth guard. I've tried those before and I will say that it doesn't tend, at least in my experience, to get a good fit when I do the boil and bite and it tends to leak a lot of the chemical onto my gums and it can be a bit irritating. I think that there are a number of ways to skin the cat, but I am curious if this way is not only convenient and cheap, but if it will actually do the job. Now I did go to my local dentist and ask what they charged. They wanted $300 for that 90 minute treatment. And I figured it's probably worth it to at least try this 42, 40 to $42 uh, procedure for, for 30 days or should, should say 22 days before I actually committed to the full 300. My teeth aren't necessarily super dark, but obviously they're not as white as they used to be in large part because of my love for coffee. And I have not, I'm not gonna be drinking coffee for at least the next month, probably the next two months. So we'll say, say goodbye to that cup. Not gonna need that anytime soon. And I do think that has a large part in terms of how your teeth are in terms of color, whether you smoke, whether you drink coffee, whether you drink a lot of foods that tend to stain your teeth or a lot of uh, eat a lot of foods that tend to stain your teeth. According to these simple instructions, you are going to peel these. You're going to align the upper and lower strips with your gums. You're going to press down on the front for two to three seconds, wrap them around your back and press on the back for two to three seconds and then wait 30 minutes. And again, according to the instructions, 
the one hour express are basically monthly upkeep. So you would run the 30 minute full 20 days in a row and then a month from now afterwards in order to kind of keep that whiteness to keep your mouth looking pearly white you would then run the one hour so i'm going to do the uncomfortable part right now and i'm going to get close to the camera so you can see where my teeth are as of today so we'll see if there's actually an improvement in 22 days from now if this is something you would are considering, I would recommend doing this as close to your dentist visit as possible uh, in terms of following your dentist visit. Reason being is you don't want to have plaque and dirt and stuff on your teeth when you try this because of course it will work less than it would if you've just gotten a cleaning. I got my cleaning last week, so that's why I'm kind of going in at it right now. All right, hopefully you can see this. We've got upper and we've got lower. The upper is wider than the lower. And I got a feeling these would be easier to be done in the mirror. There is the lower. I'm going to do the upper in front of a mirror because I think it'd be a lot easier in front of a mirror. Yep, a lot easier in front of a mirror than just staring into a camera. Um, not very uncomfortable, but I wouldn't want to take like a conference call or anything like that with this. Clearly, this is going to be 30 minutes of not eating, not really talking, and just going about your business. Timer is set, and I'll see you, I'll see you at the halfway point. Let's get to it. And just like that, 22 days has flown by, and my teeth are, what I think, noticeably whiter. Of course, I have to live with my teeth on a day-to-day -day basis, but I personally think that my teeth seem to be a lot noticeably wider than when they were before. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison from the before to the here and now. So just personal thoughts of using the Crest white strips. Number one, they were really easy to use. Um, obviously, you want to apply them in front of the mirror to get them best aligned, but putting them on was, was quick, was easy, didn't take much hassle, and the 30-minute timetable to wait wasn't that long. I was ready to get them off once that 30 minutes was over, but it wasn't annoying or cumbersome and didn't kind of prevent me from going about and doing household chores and th other things of that nature. I do know that for many of you, remembering to do this 30 minute exercise every day is going to be a headache and is going to be something that you skipped. I never forgot to do them, but I did miss one day just because I didn't have the time to do them. So that is something to consider. If you are a person who is forgetful or just doesn't have the time, it might be better to pay that extra money to have that professional visit because once you're done, you are done. Obviously, what you eat, what you drink is going to darken your teeth over time. I think the fact that I stopped drinking coffee for the past 22 days and probably going to keep that up for a long period of time has helped keep my teeth whiter as I try to kind of get the, the tartar and get the, 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 the stains off them. If you do smoke, if you do drink lots of coffee or you eat a lot of staining food, that is going to impact how white your teeth are. Also, my teeth Personally, I don't think we're that bad coming in. By no means were they were they like yellow or black. So I think if you have worse teeth in terms of pigmentation, in terms of the color, I think that you're probably going to see better results. I think the darker your teeth are coming in, the more that the crest white strips are going to be able to get off. And now it's time. It is time for Fate of the Union, where I give you my final thoughts on these crest white strips. Are they worth it? Is it something that I would recommend? And the answer is yes. They absolutely exceeded my expectations based on that price point. Again, they range from $38 to $46. I paid $42, give or take. Um, and they over-delivered on those $42 that I spent. My teeth are whiter. And I have two of these one-hour follow-ups that I can use months down the road in order to keep my teeth the shade of white that they currently are. Do I think that many people are going to benefit from this and not break the bank? Absolutely. Is the level of convenience in terms of putting them on easy? Absolutely. And I think from having used 
the um, the molds, the like the bite down molds that you have to kind of put the liquid in and then put them in your mouth in the past. These are a heck of a lot more convenient and a lot less messy. Now, are these as good as a dentist visit that's going to run you three hundred dollars? Heck. No, there's a lot of benefits to going through with the dentist visit. Number one being that you're going to save a ton of time. Number two being that the shade of white is going to be a lot more prominent. You're going to have a much bigger before and after difference, regardless of where your teeth start, just because, again, it is a $300 treatment. And then number, and the next obvious bonus is the fact that they give you those dental trays to take home and use in the future down the road. Um, and those are going to be form fitted to your specific teeth. Overall though, if you are looking to kind of do the Pareto's principle of the 80-20 rule and get your teeth as white as possible for the least amount of money possible, I would highly recommend these Crest White Strips and um, I'll put a link in the description. Let me know in the comments below how you have tried to whiten your teeth in the past and if you were successful. Also, let me know in the comments below, do you drink coffee? I think my teeth were a lot whiter before I started drinking coffee, so I may try to either eliminate it completely or just avoid it uh, significantly going forward to make sure that my teeth don't retract, don't regress to a darker shade of white. Hopefully you found today's video informative. Do me a solid. If you came this far in the video, that means you and I are officially best friends. So why not give this video a like and hit that red subscribe button. As usual, thank you so much for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.